Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning devotions this 28th of June 2021. Today I'm going to be reading from John chapter 3 verse 30. It simply says, he must increase but I must decrease. He must increase but I must decrease. John the Baptist is talking to those who are questioning why his disciples are leaving him for Jesus. The real question here is who is in charge? Who is on the throne? Who should be the center of attention in this situation or in, in somebody's life even? Who is on the throne? You see, if I need to get my own way, it means I am on the throne. If I need to be right, it means I am on the throne. If I need to exert my authority, I'm on the throne. If I need to be the focus or the centre of attention, it means I'm on the throne. I want to be number one. And I can't cope when I'm not. That's what we're saying when we need those things. And yet, John the Baptist teaches us something quite remarkable as he speaks to those who are questioning him. He says, Jesus needs to increase. Jesus needs to be the focus of our attention, not me. And for that to happen, I need to decrease. I need to get out of the way. In other words, I need to decrease so that he can increase. And this takes humility. It takes humility to acknowledge that I don't know everything. It takes humility to acknowledge that I'm not God. I'm not the one who should be on the throne. I'm not the one who needs to be the centre of attention in any given situation. Only God can be God. Only he can be on the throne if I am to live for him. My job, what I'm called to, is to honour him. I am called to serve him. I am called to worship him and only him. I'm not the one who needs to be honoured. I'm not the one who needs to be served. I'm not the one who should be worshipped. So I come back to my original question, who is on the throne in your life? It's a question I have to answer myself. It's a question you need to answer yourself. Who is on the throne? Are you on the throne? Or is Jesus on the throne? Is he Lord? Are you learning to humble yourself so that you will decrease so that he can increase? Let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, Lord, I, I thank you for sending Jesus, your Son, to earth, Lord, uh, to to be the light of the world, Lord, to, to be Lord, to be our Saviour, to be our God. Lord, uh, help us to humble ourselves before you. Help us to acknowledge, Lord, that uh, for Jesus to be Lord, we can't. For Jesus to be on the throne, we can't. For Jesus to be the focus. We can't. Lord, uh, humble us where we need humbling. Encourage us where we need encouraging. Help us to decrease so that Jesus can increase in our lives and in the world around us. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless.